I really uh, feel great pleasure in talking to you this morning. And as we have been talking about it, uh, in terms of uh, uh, brief background, which I understand from you, you have led your career most of the time in the UAE region over 10 years, right? And you have spent long career in the hospitality, travel tours and whatnot, and I'll let you speak more about it. But in last 10 years, the landscape in the UAE region has changed or in the overall Gulf has changed. And I spent some time as well, but uh, I'd like to hear from you what has changed in the past 10 years and what has really been impacted by pandemic recently, especially in the hotel and hospitality industry. Thank you for giving me a chance to speak to you on this platform. Thank you, Mr. Yes, uh, I agree that I'm here now in the Middle East for quite a long time and in UAE almost about 11 years plus. I have worked with uh, most uh, uh, fine brands in the hospitality and um, my first two assignments was in Dubai in 2009 and 2011. I moved to Abu I see a drastic change uh, happening in the UAE. Um, first of all, I would say the leadership is very smart here. They are very futuristic. Uh, they are very well informed. They are very well connected. And I see the leaders of this country are the main driving force. First of all, they are very good informing the media what is happening, what are they doing, what changes they are bringing, how it will impact the economy, the residents, the locals. And especially where I belong to the uh, hospitality industry. I see all major brands, almost all major brands, have their physical presence in the UAE. Uh, you name it, such as Dima, Veda, Sharja, and Kai, mm -hmm. and you can say uh, Ravi, and even until uh, Sila or Waze, when we are almost focused towards the Saudi Arabia. So the reason I gave you a small short brief is that it is not only um, up in Dubai, it is uh, well spread, uh, of course, and they have gone up in, into the ocean, you know, the, the island called the heart of Europe, which is in the middle of the uh, ocean, it is away from the shoreline of Dubai, and then you have islands, which is individual islands, which are the main big villas uh, with astonishing price. Uh, astonishing value and something out of the world. And technologically wise, if you get into any hotel, a big brand like Four Seasons, um, Shangri-La, uh, Oriental Mandarin, and Jumeida, uh, you name any big brand of even Hilton or so and so, wherever you go, you will find new technologies incorporated soon as you enter. You will see from the entrance. What do they have? They have, you know, this uh, robot chair, you have social distribution, you have uh, uh, contactless check-in, you have so many technologies. Even there are places uh, in the UAE where the lifts are operated without hand touch. Some are, you know, voice recognition, some are foot pedals, and so on. So, so I see every place you go, even in restaurants, you see amazing technology. They don't give you contact. Uh, um, sorry, the menu that you have to see in touch. There will be QR codes sitting on your table immediately. You can get menu on your mobile. You surf through and you can order from your mobile as well. So, a lot of things are happening. I go through a lot of technological stuff. I try to educate and update myself. So, there is a lot happening in terms of uh, updating. Excellent. And as I understand from you that uh, most of the leading brands, hoteliers are there in the region and they are now opening up. I believe that market is opening up, the hotels are opening up already and you are taking all the measures for getting those confidence back of the guests. Guests are get, uh, looking for assurance, international travel more so. They are looking for assurance from the hoteliers that how they are basically given the proper hygiene and proper care when they arrive and at the same time are they contactless so are you maintaining all 
enough social distancing so that they should not have this COVID infection, right? That's one. So how, how are the hoteliers taking care of contactless check-in, check-out, F&B, the back office operation? And I know most of the leading brands are taking care of, but how about the mid-sized hotels? And as you know, Harish, Centric is coming in with a lot of automation around front office reception or taking care of the guest check-in process, also providing some of the handle device based automation. So can you throw some light on that, how guests are being taken care of now with those mid-sized hotels? Uh, definitely, yes. There is a huge awareness of coming onto this platform where all the major brands and almost all the hotels are very keen that they apply all the things required by the government. Now, uh, UAE has very uh, uh, strong systems and also they convey to hotels and restaurants what they expect them to do. So guidelines are very clear to everybody. No one has uh, had any sort of knowledge. So when we say no sort of knowledge, it means to say you need to provide basics. Basics in the sense, as soon as you enter, of course, you will have social distancing that you will have to arrange your sitting tables accordingly, how the guests are seated how far they are seated and how do you turn the table, for example, if your occupancy uh, or seating arrangements allow you 40 feet, how many you can take maximum in this moment of time. You need to have a signage or signs put on the table. This is the table arrangement, the sitting arrangement that is applicable currently. So everyone has to follow. The same happens in the luxury hotels where uh, big buffets were there, you had a big queue in front of the buffet when you're taking the food, it is no longer. It is moreover that you have a la carte orders and it is provided to you on the table. Uh, huge buffet are slowly returning, but are not in the same fashion the way it was earlier. Because earlier, you could go with someone and you, your shoulder and his or her shoulder may touch it was that close when you're serving yourself from the, the food stations or buffet or so over. So all the hotels have taken an precaution. Secondly, uh, they are also advertising in the social media that they are very, very tough. So it is a, I think it's a, uh, a government body which is verifying them that they have complied to all the regulation of the land. So big brands, uh, they always come in the, in the social media. They announce that they are very tough, uh, verified. It means to say any guest or customers, those who are getting into the building, either to have a meal, dining, or to sleep for a stay, or going to the food side, or going to the massage parlor, or going to the health club, or any other area, they are safe. There are enough precautions taken. We have these hand rubs, uh, sedations, bags, all those things easily provided within the easy reach, where it tells you that you are uh, safe to use this property. Most of the time, you know, uh, the guest is the key, their emotion, their sentiments, their likes, and what they prefer. That is very important in hospitality industries, right? So considering those emotional aspect of it, how the hoteliers are taking care of listening to the guest's emotions and how they are fulfilling in real time. Do you see that uh, in the region prevalent? Or care of the guest emotional intelligence. Yes, it is very true. See, it is all again coming from the same. As the government has defined the rules properly, uh, this is what they want to do, uh, how much is the distance and what they will do upon arrival, all the way up till the time they are led to the room or shown a minibar or shown a facility. So this is very evident in every hotel that we uh, visit in the UAE. You will see right from the start when you check in until the time you finish your stay. So you cannot say one hotel is doing less or other is doing more, but they are so vigilant. They are so well informed. And the most important part, I would say they are very well trained. Every single employee knows that this is very uh, troubled times, tense times, critical times, and the best safety is the most important thing. If there is one incident happened in one hotel where one hotel did not carry out the norm, first of all, they lose the reputation, mm -hmm. they lose the name, also the brand 
stability or brand uh, goodwill comes into danger. So not even small restaurants, not even standalone, not the fine dining, that is open value with the veranda or the hotels. It is all everybody involved over there. But it is very evident. You can see these people are well informed, the way they speak to me, the way they interact with me, where they are taking over, how they say, how far they stay away, how they repeat, when the food service happens, how do they do? There are some places they don't serve you very closely. They don't come close to you hand to hand and take the food. They bring the food on a trolley and they will leave the trolley next to your table by telling you tower number one, seat number one, X, Y, Z, and the D and go. The guests also are very understanding. They understand what time should happen. Why this kind of service? Why this kind of approach? They are appreciating it absolutely very high. There is not even one single negative comment in the media. I am in about six to ten newsletters every day. I want to know what is happening in my industry. What do the people do? What new measures they have taken? How one is competing with other? And by reading, they all are educating, cross educating each other. Right. So this is very important point you were just uh, talking about. So here in the U.S. as well, people are looking at instant response mechanism. That means I am not liking certain service. Can I connect on my smart device? Let our hoteliers or service provider know that this is not right. Can you fix it in real time? Now, that is one thing which I would like to ensure that Centric enables all the hoteliers to offer instant feedback mechanism, which not only increases the net promoter score, the guest loyalty system, but also encourages to have higher emotional quotient score, EQ score. This is the new thing coming up. If I am not happy as a guest, are you empathizing with me? Are you giving me some consolation in terms of good, you know, goodies or some kind of uh, incentives so that I stop? Exactly. Right. So those are things which we are developing the EQ score for the hotel, which will be a path breaking for the hotel industry. Right. So I can see that the region, which is the Gulf region or the UAE, is well ready to implement those are start a state of the art system, which is based on robotic process automation, the chatbot technology, automating certain tasks like contactless checking, check out, taking the orders on handheld device with a digital menu and fulfilling the digital feedback system. That's what the hoteliers want. And also giving them a little bit of profitability control so that they should be able to get, let's say basic GOP, Whatever your, let's say, you know, in terms of occupancy rate, maybe currently your occupancy rate is 10%. Can I manage my profitability, GOP, let's say 5%, even though my occupancy rate is 20% or 30%? Just giving example how dynamically you can manage your profitability, that is what Centric is after. And Centric is offering and deploying at many hotels. We really appreciate your time, Harish. And if we can uh, really uh, look at how this can be implemented in your region, we'll definitely look forward to working with you. Thank you very much for your time and uh, talk to you soon again.